sales out there, but what should you buy now and what should you hold off on? We spoke with a shopping expert to find out. Here's Amber Cagliano. Labor Day has lots of folks hungry for big sales. Retailers are cleaning out their inventory from spring and summer, and that means some great deals. It's also the perfect time to get last-minute school supplies and clothes. And what else? Mattresses are a traditional Labor Day sales item. Experts say a mattress should be replaced every seven years. It's also the perfect time to buy furniture, including sofas and dining room sets, accent chairs, and patio furniture. Amazon will have great deals on home essentials. Also, consider kitchen appliances. Look for beauty deals on makeup and skincare products. And you'll also find discounts on exercise equipment and pet items. Macy's is offering up to 20% on already discounted clothing, handbags, and jewelry. I'm seeing sales of 50% wow. off. 30% off, buy one, get two free. September is also when you can snap cheaper airline tickets for Thanksgiving and Christmas travel. Speaking of Christmas, you're likely to see holiday stuff on display this weekend. We are starting to see stores put displays out, and it feels very early, but this is how retail works. It's a race to the holidays. Smart shopping expert Trey Bosch has a tip. Hit thrift stores like this Goodwill for stocking stuffers and decorations. She has another suggestion. I do like to shop online in terms of price comparing because it's easier to compare prices. It's easier to look for discounts. Good advice to get more bang for your buck. <laughs> A survey found that 64% of consumers plan on taking advantage of sales to do back-to-school shopping. Still to come, the chicken anxiety phenomenon. I'm getting chicken anxiety. Why these people are worried about cooking chicken this holiday weekend. Should we check it out now? More than 55% of all Americans will be attending a cookout this Labor Day weekend, and many will be grilling their chicken a little longer this year. Here's why. It's spreading across America. Ah! I'm getting chicken anxiety. Just in time for Labor Day oh, barbecue. Chicken. Social media is filled with people to chicken, mm. to eat chicken. I would rather just about burn it to make sure it's cooked. Because if I get a squishy piece. Ah! The hashtag chicken anxiety has 23 million views on TikTok. For me, it is raw chicken. I am absolutely terrified about it. These ladies are cutting their chicken in small pieces to make sure it's cooked all the way through. If you're suffering from chicken anxiety, we're here to help. Of all the proteins, chicken is the one you have to take the most seriously. Uh, it only can, you can only kill salmonella if it reaches 165 degrees. Um, there is no medium rare for chicken. Michelle Dahl Olsen is head chef at HelloFresh. She showed our Allison Hall two different ways to make sure your chicken comes out perfect this holiday weekend. The thermometer is really the only foolproof way to make sure you hit 165. Otherwise, I would recommend slicing into the thickest part of one of the chicken breasts to see that it's cooked through. So our oven's set to 425. 18 minutes later, right over 165. Perfection. So now grilling chicken. Really? How do we make sure that we grill chicken safely? You want to preheat it for about 10, 15 minutes to make sure it's really nice and hot. So this would be about five to seven minutes aside? Exactly. 14 minutes later. Yay, 165! It's fully cooked through. We know it because the thermometer told us so. So, how does it taste? Nothing beats grilled chicken. That is delicious. Chicken anxiety, be gone. <laughs> chicken is the third most popular food to grill on Labor Day behind the traditional staples, hot dogs and hamburgers. Still to come, 